Um, I'm gonna actually make an invisible move in 1v1 too. But like, I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how to get macros on console. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna, let me finish making this invisible on 1v1 though for y'all real quick. I'm gonna actually make this invisible 1v1 for y'all real quick. I was doing making an invisible 1v1. Hold up. Um, no, it's a kid in here. Why? Kid leave. But like, I don't know if I can actually do the, the, just the invisible 1v1. But like, I'm gonna make sure y'all how to get macros on console and look. So I'm gonna show you right now. So, you see this? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just not watching that. But um, I'm gonna show y'all how to get macros on console, PS4, same thing. What's up, bitch? Um, Shut up. All right, but um, I'm gonna show y'all how to get macros for real, but like, um, the first thing you wanna do. The first thing you wanna do is stay consistent with your edits. That's the only first thing you wanna do to get macros. First, so first, go to your settings. You wanna see something called um, motion blur. You wanna have that off. It does mess around with your edits. Um, for all you single bond editors, you need to have confirm edit on release for all you double bond. Double edit bond editors or all you um, triple bond editors to have this off double bond editors triple bond editors need to have this off single bond editors always need to have this on um turn all turn all replays off what what this does like it like gives you more space in your game but like the only time you want to have replays on is when you know whenever you're like a content creator something like that and Turn off stuff that you don't use, like, turn off something in your game settings that you don't use, turn off stuff that you literally don't use, and it get better. Um, next, you wanna go to your um, controller options. You're gonna see something called, um, go all the way down. This is not, this right here would not work for Xbox. It says, enable foot controller, which is a foot controller mounting. You wanna have that on, if, you wanna have that on sometimes. You wanna have that on, but this does not help with your own aim. It kind of makes your aim go a little bit more off, but imp it improves your building, your editing, and all. I have it on sometimes. I literally don't have. I literally, sometimes I have it off, but I'm gonna just keep it on for now. Go to um subtitles. Turn subtitles off. Um. All right. For all y'all um people. Everybody, um, you're gonna see something called switch mode slash edit. So you see, you see something said switch mode right here and switch slash edit. This would not be like the build your but the, the um, thing that you edit with and you know build with. What this does is it just increases your edit speed. So change your bond that you don't use. Say if you don't use like D pad. Well, yeah. Say so if you don't um, use that, you can have that as, um, you know, switch mode slash edit. And that, what that does, it just, it just like, I don't know why it like doubles your edit speed, but it does it somehow. Um, different, different. And I'm going to show you how I edit. With switch mode slash edit. With switch, with switch mode slash edit. Alright. This how I edit with switch mode um with this um settings I use for um you know the macro. For a macro. It's not actually a macro, but these settings act like a macro. And you need like the right edit speed, the right um build mode speed, like the right edit speed, right sensitivity. And Say if you play double edit bonds, you press like L L two. No, I mean 
R1 selector, R2 to um reset, and L2 like to confirm something like that. And this shit would oh yeah, this shit would not work by using that. But the net, but this will work. Um, the tip I'm showing you right now will work. Well, it would not work for double edit buttons or triple edit buttons. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make this belt go invisible right now, and I'm gonna make it invisible. Shoot! All right, I shot it. Um, I don't know. Why, I don't know why I did that. Somebody tell me why did I did that in the comment section? In no com, in the no, in the no comment section below. But yeah. You may be like, it's not a macro, y'all. Come on. Yeah, it has a macro. Nah, if it don't edit for you, that mean that probably means you have input delay. Probably might, maybe you want to watch the video to fix that, but. How do you know? I barely got input delay. And it's invisible. Simple like that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's invisible. Okay. So it will always work. It will always work. It will always work. It will always work. You know. These settings will always work. I told you these settings I literally act like a macro. These settings right here I just showed y'all. Literally acts like a macro. And that's it for the video. I'm gonna show you one more thing. I'm gonna show you one more thing actually. I'm gonna show you something. With the, with the settings. I'm gonna show you something right now with the with these on macro settings. The macro settings. I did I can make walls invisible actually. And I will do that for y'all right now. In a second. Alright, first we gotta break it to 10 HP, so. Alright. Alright, first I kinda think we need to break break this wall, but it doesn't really matter. So why this is why this one's building up, I would just alright, I would just edit this one. First. I will make it a, a <laughs> invisible 1v1. This will it's gonna take a this might take me a long time. I don't know. I stopped. Yeah, I stopped. Yeah, I think I think I had to listen really. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I, I can't lie. I did stop. But um, I'm gonna make an invisible um one v one for y'all. Um, this will take me a long time. And. If this, if, if I, if, if this. I'm gonna make the wall invisible too. I don't think I'll stop. This <laughs> I probably need to get um, a G fuel real quick. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, we got one. All right, my hands are hard to use. Hold on, give me one second. All right, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Alright, y'all. I didn't have to give me some G Fuel, but um, yeah. Next, I'm gonna make this invisible 1v1. And, yeah. 
See my macros? No macros. I, 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 I don't eat macros, but yeah. You know, um, hopefully y'all like it. I wish I think y'all would like it, but when is it? I think I edited it like for one, one more second. So I gotta edit this like for 25 seconds or 27. I'm gonna for it, for it, the primary thing is that we need to edit like for 25 seconds. That's what I said. I am visible. Cool. Alright, y'all. The final, the hardest part. The, um, the wall. Let's do it. Mm. We made, we already got the invisible 1v1. Oh, I, I don't want to do a little bit I'm kind of shocked. I'm almost, I'm kind of shocked, but I can't believe I did this. But, um, I'm going to do it for y'all. All right, three. Break it to the lowest HP. She's right here, I think. All right, bro, we got to edit this. I just want you feel a little bit more in here. If not, I'll be dead. Dang it. Well, I will make an invisible wall for y'all real quick. And that's probably going to take the... The, f the hardest one is going to be 40 seconds. So I got to edit this for like 35 seconds, I believe, but. This is going to hurt, guys. This is going to hurt, but. um, I got to edit this for some seconds. That's how you get macros on console. Um, that's it for the video. I'm out. Peace.